In this tutorial, we will be learning about how to modify your pencil line. Now, one of the ways that you may want to do this is to be able to increase or decrease the size of a line that you've already drawn. Um, it's actually quite simple if you want to go and change it. I select the piece that I want to modify and using the select tool, I'm going to go and select all of my line or a portion that I want to uh, increase and currently in my tool properties I can see that the current size is 5 point. I can actually come and increase or decrease that using either the slider or if I come in and uh, type in a different value. Right now I want to maybe increase it a little bit to 7. So I'm going to press 7 and then enter and automatically all of my line gets increased at the same time. Now, another way that you may want to go and modify your line is, for instance, for the glasses, if I go to my reference, I can see that they have sort of an uneven line thickness to it. So I'm going to go and get my pencil editor, which sits right underneath my contour editor. So the pencil editor, instead of working on your entire line, will affect a portion of it. If I were to select it, as you can see, I have a contour line around it that I can come and modify in any way that I like. If you want to come and adjust more points to give you more freedom um, when you go and manually adjust it, you can just press Control as you would with the contour editor and then click on your line and again for as many points as you want to add and then you can just come and modify it. So once that is to your liking you can also come and select the thickness that you have on your glasses. Again I'm still with the pencil editor. I can come and select this, press Control C or Command C for Mac and then I can come and select my other piece of glasses and select again and press Control V or Command V. Now what it did is actually just paste in the exact same line thickness that I have over on the other side so feel free to come and adjust a little bit with the points or Bezier's um, to adjust just how it should be. Another thing that I may come and want to modify with my line is the edges of my line. So for the nose here, I can see in my drawing that I'm actually supposed to have pointy edges to my nose. Now in order to achieve this, we need to understand the difference between the edge of our lines and the starting and ending point of our line. Now the ending and starting point are actually just the tip of our line. So if I set these as flat, you can see I'm getting that little crease just as we were getting using the cutter tool. Um, so this is actually just because the edges of my line are actually flat. Now to fix this real easy, just select your entire line and set them as round. And now they will be round again. But for fixing the actual edge of my lines joining together, if I want it to be pointy, uh, I don't necessarily want to go inside my pencil editor and start tweaking to get that nice sharp edge necessarily. Um, what I would want to do is merge these lines together because if I want that nice crisp edge to it, uh, I need to select them, select both my lines like this, and merge them together using an option in the tool properties called Merge Pencil Lines. Now if I use this and I click on it, as you can see my edge has become pointy and the reason why that is is because I have it set here in my tool properties under Join. I could have it as round and keep it the same as before. I could have it as meter and get that nice pointy edge that I've been looking for. And as you can see, the other ones that I've, uh, I haven't merged are still round because they are separate lines. 
but the ones that I've joined together are now a nice uh, single vector that I can select all together. So if you want to merge multiple lines at the same time, just go ahead and do so. You select them using the select tool and you just click on merge pencil lines and right away my line took all the properties that I had under my join right here. So I could go and do the same with uh, other features that would require such a thing, maybe something like the hair. Right now I have it all merged as one uh, vector line because I drew it in one in just one line. But if you were using several uh, pencil strokes, then you would need to merge your lines again and then just select join and meter.